Welcome back to module 4.4. In this lecture video, I'm going to show you how to convert percent back to fractions and mixed numbers. Okay. So to change a percent to a fraction or a mixed number, we will write the percent as a fraction with 100 as the denominator and delete the percent. So if I will write my percent as a fraction with 100 in the denominator, that part is basically saying divided by a hundred right some sort of percent over some sort of percent over of over 100 so that's divided by a hundred and we'll reduce the fraction if possible so um, the textbook offer us how to do this by hand I'm gonna show you how to do this in the calculator so it's basically the same thing as 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 we would do it by hand it just calculate the steps does not change for example 52 percent i want to convert 52 percent into a fraction so as you can recall previously convert percent to a decimal we got to move the decimal to the left two places or divided by a hundred so basically arithmetic wise we going to we're going to take my 52 percent and divided by a hundred because dividing by hundred is how we get rid of the percent notation and once I divide by a hundred then I will get a decimal which is 0.52 so from the decimal perspective 0.52 I'm gonna convert to a fraction using my calculator so math number one convert to a fraction it will be 13 over 25 so if you are not quite sure how to convert decimal to a fraction using your graphing calculator, please consult with your with your instructor. And that's it. All right. And we also done this in module three, where we can write this as fifty-two over a hundred, right? Because if we read this decimal correctly, this is fifty-two hundredth. And if I reduce, that will give me. Oops, is that right? 25 I'm so sorry that will give me 13 over 25 sorry about that if you write 52 over 100 we can reduce this by 2 or we I can even reduce it by 4 that will give me 13 over 25 all right mixed number let's do this in the calculator same thing okay same thing I'm gonna turn my 2 and 1 half percent into a decimal by dividing by a hundred. So two and one fifth divided by a hundred. So I'm gonna show you how to key this in. I know most of y'all know this is 2.5, but I want to demonstrate how to key this in the calculator properly. So remember, mixed number is a whole number plus a fraction. So I'm going to put two and one fifth in the in the parenthesis. 2 plus 1 divided by 2. I put them in a the parenthesis so the calculator read this as one term. Now divided by 100 to get rid of the percent notation. So that's 0 0.025. So I'm going to use the calculator to turn 0 0.025 into a fraction. So that will be 1 over 40. If you want to turn this decimal into a fraction, by by reading it, this will be twenty five thousandths. All right, make sure I write down it correctly. Excuse me, and then I can reduce it by by five, starting all with. Okay. All right, change this one hundred forty four percent to a mixed number. All right, so rather than go to a fraction, we're gonna go to a mixed number. So same procedure though, same procedure. 144% need to divide by 100 in the calculator to strip away the percent notation. So let's see what that turned out to be. 144 divided by 100, no surprise, is 1.44. All right, so this part convert into a mixed number in the graphing calculator it's a little bit trickier because the whole number is already a one 
So it's the 0.44 is what I need to convert into a fraction part. Remember, mixed number is a whole number plus a fraction. And the fraction part comes from the decimal places. So in my calculator, I'm going to subtract my whole number 1, which because I already know what that is. So that means this step is just let the calculator register 0.44 as a, as a decimal. So we can convert to a fraction. So that will be 11 over 25 as a fraction portion. So my mixed number answer, 1 in 11 over 25. Okay, so graphing calculus is a little bit trickier. Scientific calculus is a little bit easier to come up with a mixed number answer. Um, graphing calculus, we have to take away our whole number first so the calculator can register the decimal and turn the decimal into a fraction portion of my final mixed number answer. All right, let's take a look at the next example. Same thing. This one is turned 8.75 to a fraction, not a mixed number, just a fraction. So 8.75 divided by 100 in the calculator to strip away the percent notation. 75 divided by 100. So that's 0 0.0875. So I'm going to turn the 0 0.0875 into a fraction, and that gives me 7 over 80. All right, so let's think about this. So what we have done so far in module 4.3 and 4.4 is to take fraction, to take any type of fraction, like a half, divide the fraction, turn them into a decimal, and once I'm at a decimal notation, all I'm going to do is times a hundred, or move my decimal to the right two places, okay, to become a percent. Vice versa, if I have a percent, need to go back to decimal, then we will divide by a hundred first. So I can be at decimal notation. And once I'm at decimal notation, then we can use our calculator to convert back to a fraction. So fraction to decimal, we divide the fraction. Decimal to percent, we times a hundred. So from percent to decimal, we divide by a hundred. And then go from decimal to fraction. We use a we use the fraction feature in our cal graphing calculator or scientific calculator to convert back to a fraction or even a mixed number right here. Okay, so that will conclude this lecture video on how to convert fraction into excuse me how to convert percent back into fractions or mixed number. Thank you for watching.